Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we're here. This is going to be week number two of the PAC Ubers division and we're up against Poker Primer and his Anaheim Appletons. Now, uh, this is going to be a really, really interesting one. I'm going to go straight into team preview, but I'm going to say right away that it's going to honestly be a kind of a meme that I ha that I do have five leftovers mons here, but I think you'll see that he just has so many different options for how to kind of wall me off that I kind of have to have a much bulkier offense strategy here. We do see the Audino, Flygon, Raikou, Tangela, Eveltal, and the Armaldo. So right off the bat, no Terrakion. Wow, no Terrakion, no Clefable, no Metagross. No Metagross is bonkers. But the biggest one is no Toxapex, right? So no Toxapex does mean a whole ton to me in this matchup here. I have to pick a lead soon, but yeah, just seeing no Toxapex is huge. No Terrakion is bonkers again. Okay, all that said, all that said, all that said. I think I can kind of lead off with this thing. Oh no, the Raikou's right there. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think I kind of do want to lead off with this thing and I have to put in everything quickly. Oh no, I might end up leading off with Groudon. No, I think I should have time. But realistically, this is probably just going to be a pivot for me and a potential defog here. We could see a, a an Armaldo lead. But regardless, I think being able to, to kind of pivot on whatever here, uh, there's no, uh, there is the Flygon, but the Flygon, I think that the Rotom can manage. We will see about that, I suppose. We will see about that. We will lead off with the Armaldo here. And I also want to just kind of foul play directly into the Armaldo, right? If it's, if it's somewhat of a one offensive Armaldo, I might get off more damage with a Volt Switch. Volt Switch and foul play should do about equal amounts of damage. If he does get rocks, actually, no. I could also just sub up. Now I'm going to click foul play here. I could click foul play here. I think even if he does, even if this does open up his Raikou a little bit, does go for the knockoff. Uh, that's not great, but I, but I think it'll be fine overall, right? That said, I should be able to click sub now, especially, well, no. Mm, yeah, that, yeah, that wasn't the best play in the world. But uh, I do kind of want to scout out a little bit. I think he will want to... Uh, get some damage off. Let's go for the Stone Edge and lands it. Let's go for the Stone Edge and lands it. So, what can we tell from that damage? Is that just no investment? That's about 30-ish percent. Yeah, that's about in line for no investment. I could Volt Switch here. I think another Foul Play is fine here. Yeah, I think... I think, honestly... Uh, does he have... He doesn't have any other rockers here, right? So, this in exchange for hazards, especially without... Goes for rapid spin. Okay. Okay. That's very problematic. <sighs> yeah, now I have to make a decision here. That, that, that was a very, very strong play by him. Actually, no Terrakion means I can kind of burn... It means I can kind of make this play here. And I think I will. I think I will. Because this might mean that I have to defog later on in the match, and if it does mean that, then obviously I'm going to need the, the, the... But yeah, actually, I don't think this thing does have a role anymore. Um, it does help against the Flygon, um, for sure, for sure. And that's actually, that's a, that's a really strong hit, actually. Uh, I really do want to just get a Scald off, but I kind of want a Toxic. Would he ever switch this out? I don't know. I don't know. I really do want to get rocks up. I'm going to click toxic. We'll see. Maybe this is just a bad play. I don't know. Yeah, it does go for the knockoff. That's I think that's I think it's that's, that's going to be fine here. But again, just making sure cuz I don't know. Has he even shown uh, a bunch of moves? He's shown rapid spin, knockoff, stone edge, right? He could still have rocks as the final move, I think. But actually, that means he didn't have any, like, X's or for, for Rotom, which I guess is uh, interesting to, to, to think of now. But I'm honestly tempted to double Toxic here, to be completely honest. But I think I'm fine just getting a Scald off here. Uh, just for another Stone Edge. But this should pick up a KO, and this should ensure Hazards off of my side of the field, which is honestly pretty great. So this means a couple things, right? This means that my Rotom doesn't have a, a particular role anymore, and, and my Rotom can kind of um, can kind of be
be a sack, be switched in and out. Um, it also means that my that my Groudon only has to click rocks once, and I don't and I won't really have to worry about um, having to have them defog. To, well, I, that doesn't mean that at all. It, it means that I, I wouldn't have to defog away my, my own rocks. Is more so my point, right? He could still um, click defog on the on the Avelto, not likely, but the Flygon might be. The Flygon might be. And yeah, I suppose just looking at the team comp in general... Yeah, okay. I don't think this is ever a question, right? I don't think this is, this is ever a question. Um, I don't even think I can get... Yeah, I, that's fine. I should take one. I'd be very surprised if I don't take... I don't take it. Okay, that's fine. I Honestly, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Uh, but I do want to think this through here. I'll probably just do this, right? I could do this. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, 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 I definitely make him think that I, that I just go for a fire move here. And I can get a sub off. I can potentially catch catch the Flygon coming in and and talk to him on, on the next turn. Maybe he, he he realistically just tries to break the sub. And if he does that, then I can uh, get the Toxic off there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I'm okay here, right? This thing could definitely get out of hand, but I think. Um, I think I can manage this. If this thing subs up on me, then that's really problematic for me. But Sub Dragon Dance is kind of a tough sell here. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Does go for the EQ. Does go for the EQ. And now he has to decide whether or not he wants to EQ again uh, or click U turn. And uh, it's a very risky U turn, I suppose. It is life warped. We. Okay. That's uh, not ideal. That's definitely not ideal. See, the, the thing is, I, I really 100% in my bones think he clicks U-turn, because of course th the Rotom comes in now, right? Of course the Rotom comes in. But do I ever play off of that? Do I ever play off of that? What do I need this for? Well, this... I really do need this for... Uh, This is so tough. I really do think he clicks... He clicks U-turn, though. I really want to make this play. I don't think this is a game losing play. I really don't think this is a game losing play. But okay, that one surprises me. I mean, it, I mean, it, it really, it really truly does. It really truly does. But it's not the end of the world. I can, I can bring in, I can bring this thing in and put on a lot of pressure. I can bring in this thing and put on a lot of pressure. Close combat should always pick up a KO, I think, after those ticks of um, of Life Orb. Doesn't really have a proper switch into this. And from there, again, I have the Rotom Sack. I have a couple of plays that I can make. But uh, I'm really getting to the point where I really have to be hyper-offensive about how I play the rest of these turns. Um, I believe the only Mon that's gone down here... I probably should have clicked U-Turn. U-Turn probably would have been a better play. U-Turn probably would have been a better play here. It's fine. I think I'll be fine. Um, he could still go for a Sludge Bomb expecting the Rotom to, to want to come in. But I don't think that's the most kind of... Uh... Oh, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. This might be split defenses because... Of a potential overheat from my from my Groudon, but that damage is incredible. That damage is just pretty incredible because he still doesn't have any switches into this. Um, I think the best play after this might be the Raikou because the Raikou could pretty clearly take a single hit. But if I can keep bringing this Passimian in repeatedly, then that's just really strong for me. Brings in the Raikou here. This could be a Scarfed Raikou. 
This is almost definitely a Scarf for IQ, right? And that's just almost a KO right there. Um... But yeah, I have no reason not to just... Oh, it's Leftovers. Oh. Well, I just close combat again. Um, he should know that I'm Scarfed, I think. Other yeah, otherwise he wouldn't have switched out his, his, his Flygon. But this opens up a decent amount for me. This could be letting in the Tangela. But if it does, then I just go... I, I just sack off the Rotom to invite in... Um, Invite in potentially Kiram, but also invite in, but also invite in um, the Groudon. Brings in the AUE Veltal. Okay, so I am at minus three, correct? I'm at minus three. Would this be worth... Oh, okay. Okay, we should be just about back, and he's just about to bring his Evelto back in. Now, we did um, do a little bit of funny stuff just to recreate this, but uh, we, 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 but we will both have five Mons on our fields. So, in case the menus look a little bit wonky, that's why. But yeah, I was never going to stay in here. And actually, I, I I come in here with less HP on my, on my Rotom, but I think this is just always a sack here, right? I'm pretty positive this is always a sack, and, I'm, and I won't be able to actually tell anything damage wise based off of this but i'm also curious if it makes sense i'm also curious if it makes sense to go into no i think the only play that does make sense is to go into this guy right here uh mm. is that the is that the thing that makes the most sense it might be. It might be. Yeah, I think we just go for it here. I think we just go for it here. Because this is reasonably offensive, or this is reasonably uh, bulky. And we will, we will be able to gauge damage here. It does look like Fusion Bolt does about the same amount of damage, and I don't get... But I don't think... If this thing is mixed, right? If this thing is mixed... Then... I don't think it ever matters whether... Uh, I get Sucker Punched after the Oblivion Wing, because... I think I take both hits, right? I think I take both hits. So I think we can freely go for this. I think this is safe. I guess there's only one way to see. Like I said, this is a pretty bulky... Let's go for the knockoff. I think that's fine. Yeah, based off of that damage, um, Sucker Punch should be doing roughly the same amount of damage, and I think we'll be okay overall. But I think this is ultimately going to be my best kind of source of offense for the... For how do I do this? Now, I should be able to take out a max HP... Eveltal every time with Fusion Bolt, but if this thing has any defense investment, how much defense investment does it have to take to take 100 HP? To take 100... Um... It does look like even like 100 defense. Hmm, I think this is fine. I think it's fine to click Fusion Bolt, because missing here would be pretty bad. Um, if I had Roost, then maybe Roost would have been um, pretty nuts here. But I think overall, this makes the most sense to me. Especially now that it doesn't have any real resistances um, left. I get, well, okay, I, I shouldn't say that, I suppose. But after Dragon Dance... Um, I am pretty slow, actually, so... Well, no, this thing is not... Oh, it draws. That's very interesting does just sack here, which is fine. I still have to land an, an Icicle Spear, but overall, I think that's fine, um, because I would have... Uh, if I were to miss last turn, then I would have probably missed this turn anyway, so it doesn't really affect RNG2 too much. I just really hope that I don't miss here. Uh, and, I, and I honestly don't even think... What is it? Icicle Spear is like 95% accuracy, but I'm freaking out over whether or not I miss Icicle Spear. Oh no, Icicle Spear is 100% accurate. Am I thinking of the wrong move? Am I thinking of a different move? I unironically thought that I had a chance to miss. 
What am I thinking of? I don't think it's Icicle Crash. Isn't there a random ice move that's like 95% accurate? I don't know. I could be misremembering. Regardless, we're here. Uh, this Audino comes in. Let's kind of gauge what damage we do to an Audino. He could just trying to be put me. He could just be trying to put me in range of um the other thing. But this thing does get a moon blast, right? I think I think it does. But I guess we'll see. Um, I actually don't think this thing could put me in range of Sucker Punch, which is interesting to know. I suppose I just click Icicle Spear, right? Now that I know that it's that it uh, can't miss, I guess the I guess the biggest draw downside is if I hit twice, right? Uh, that's still a good amount of damage. 20 percent per hit. That's a, was that a crit? That was a crit. Uh, I don't think it matters too too much, but I think it actually does enable me. Oh my god, can we get five hits? No, we get four. That, I, that's fine. Uh, discover toxic. Okay, that actually might put me in range now. How? Well, no, it doesn't. I don't think it ever does. Or at the very least, it gets me one more KO before it does um, start to matter here. However, however, I think the bigger takeaway here is that I can fusion bolt now. I can pretty freely fusion bolt now. And he could try to risk it with... Actually, I, sh I should have honestly calc to knock off. But I think... I think I should always... I think I should always do significantly less damage than... Than the... Than the Sucker Punch did. Right? And this thing is definitely not super attack invested. Sucker Punch should have a chance to KO, actually. It does look like it has a solid chance to KO. But, I don't know. By the looks of it, it might be a 50-50. If it's, if it's no... I don't, could it be no attack investment? It could be, I suppose. But I think he does have to pick a sack here, right? He, whether to whether he thinks the Yveltal or the Tangela can win. Presumably it'll be the... The Tangela. And then... I should be able to... It does bring in the Evolta. Okay. Um, he's definitely playing with the rolls a little bit, but I do think I should take a Sucker Punch. I, I mean, I think. I can only say I think, right? I'm going to click Icicle Spear, obviously. If I hit twice, that's a worst case scenario. But... Oh, he doesn't have Sucker Punch, it doesn't look like. And I have to hit three times. I have to hit three times. We hit three times. Okay, okay. That's that's very dope, very poggers. Um, Kieran Black could win this game right now, I suppose. Kieran could win this game right now, I suppose. The only, I believe Tangela is the only mon remaining. And it will be a matter of how many times I can hit the Tangela. But it's not impossible that I that I uh, even at plus one, yeah, if this thing is max defense, then I think I have to hit minimum three times. Even even if I hit three times, it's, it's not guaranteed that I that this that I KO this thing. However, the fact that I do believe that this thing is mixed defense does might mean that I do a, oh, just a butt turn here. Yeah, yeah, I, I think this this thing is mixed defense, and therefore we will be able to get away with just two hits. That was huge. That was absolutely huge. So I believe Basimian came came through for me huge. I think um, what it came down to is just kind of my team comp and, and having mons like the like the Groudon and like the Rotom that kind of punish a, a Toxapex bring, which really just opened up my Pissimian. And once Pissimian was able to KO the Raikou, it opened up so much for me in the later game that uh, it just helped me out a ton. And the Aveltal not, not having Sucker Punch, I think kind of sealed it for me. But I think overall, we do kind of end up with a win there. It was just a matter of what we have to give up in order to get there, right? Because I think Groudon was m enough firepower in the back to kind of deal with the rest of his threats, but not having the, the Tox Specs was really, really wild. Not having the Terrakion, I think kind of compromising on the damage output was kind of difficult for him there. Bring the Armaldo when you do have a Terrakion available, which is the reason I had to bring a max defensive Groudon 
is kind of um, an interesting choice. But either way, that it will be week two of the PAC Ubers division. This was a whole lot of fun. Kieran Black is a whole ton of fun now. Uh, and I specifically chose this one because I think it deals with other Ubers really, really well. But either way, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the PAC Ubers as well as more things to come in the future. But once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be again. Out.